Hi fellow DIYers! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new! Shout out to HTV Rant who sent me a holographic vinyl sample. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a plain and simple black tumbler into this. Their colorful samples are very beautiful and they're very easy to weed. I suggest though to do a cut test on your Cricut machine first before you do the project to make sure that the holographic setting and the pressure of your blade are compatible and will cut through. Because in my case, I had to increase the pressure in the material setting. And this is how to do it. So click those three lines and then click Manage Custom Materials. And then from here, select your Cricut machine. And then I'm going to find the holographic vinyl. Then click Edit. And here, since I have increased the pressure, I will just reset it to show you how to adjust it. So click Edit. And I'm just going to reset it. Now it's back to its default setting. I'm going to click edit again and I'm going to increase the pressure to 245 by dragging this circle there and then click save and then scroll all the way down and then click done. And that's how I did it. I also did another project called Baby Monthly Milestones using different holographic vinyls. I'll post the link of the tutorial in the description box below. So let's get started! Open your Design Space app Click Images, and then here type in Cup Butterfly, and then I'll click this, and then Add to Canvas, and then I'll just set this aside for now, then click Text, and then I'll type in Mom, and then I'll change the font to Impact, and then I'll just set this aside for now, and then I'll click Text, and then type in the name, and then I'll change the font to Amarillo. I got this from thefont.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. And I'm just decreasing the size. And then click Offset. And then I'm just changing it to 0.1 inch and then click Apply. And then select them and then drag it and put it over the word Mom. And then I'm just making it a little bigger. And then select them and then click Align. And then click Center. Then remove the name and just leave the offset on. And then select them and then click Slice. And then delete this and then drag the name over to the offset that we've just made and then select them and then I'm just making it smaller so it will fit in the circle now I want all of them to be in the same mat so I'm gonna make their color the same then I'll click make it and now since I'm going to use three different colors of holographic vinyls and I'm planning to only use one mat I'm gonna move the word mom to grid number eight and the name to grid number 10. And that way, the machine will cut them accordingly. Then click continue, and then I'll click holographic vinyl. I did a test cut on this holographic vinyl first, and I needed to increase the pressure of the setting. So I increased the pressure setting to 245, which I showed how in the beginning of this video. And then I'll adjust the pressure again to more. So this is what I'm gonna use. Again, thank you to HTV Run for sending these holographic vinyls for me to try. I must say they are very beautiful and worth buying. So the samples came with this, and it's just telling us what the holographic vinyl is, its features, where to apply it, storage instructions, cutter settings, and warm tips. And there's a note there in red that says to always do a test cut to verify settings. When you flip to the back, you'll see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply the vinyl. The only difference between this vinyl and the regular vinyl is that this has a clear protective film and you have to peel it off before cutting. So this is the protective film that we need to remove.
So this is the bottle that I'm gonna use. I got this from Walmart and it has a matte finish. I'm also going to show you how to do this parchment paper trick. So put the name on the parchment paper like so, and then just make sure the name is in the middle. Then use a squeegee or your finger to push it down, and then just flip it, and then grab and remove the parchment paper. And then remove the backing of the vinyl, and then I'll put it again on the parchment paper. And this is another trick that really helps me when the transfer tape won't let go of the vinyl. I'm just prepping the surface. I'm just rubbing it with alcohol. Now I'm just using the grids of my self-healing mat to help me align the vinyl to the center. And there you have it! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. All feedback is welcome and any feedback is good feedback. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. See you in the next episode of DIY by Sass. Thanks for watching.